This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Hey. What's up? What's up? What it do? Hello, everybody. Hi. We got a special <laughs> guest today. I'm sure excited is. about I'm this excited. one. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. We've been talking about it and talking about it. Old school hairstylist, a legend, OG, Deborah Porter, 35 years yeah. in the game. VP, 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 VP in the house. <laughs> she cut my hair when I was in high God. school. She's, she's cut, done my hair. She's done my hair. Although she's, my mama was a stylist, I already knew if I wanted it cut shorter, I'm going to yes. go ahead and hit DP up. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to play. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, good days. Good yes, days. Yes, yes. So we were excited to have her yes. here today. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yes. yes. How are you feeling? I'm feeling real good. It's like I'm, I don't know. I guess I've just been waiting on this like you have. Mm -hmm. You've been waiting a long time, and it's like it's time. Yes, right? They forgot. Right. They didn't forgot. <laughs> we haven't that. forgotten. Yes. Okay, Not that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, hey. so tell us a little bit. So first, I just want to say, I have always admired your work. You a cold Thank cutter. You, you have Thank been a great. There is not very many one. good cutters. She Thank can so she much. can cut like. Yes. <laughs> and still while talking. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna say one thing about it. You gonna always know Deborah's work. Yep. You could see it on the street and be mm. like, Deborah did things mm -hmm. like yeah. a lot of off the do top, that. Like, yep. off the muscle. Yep. Yes, yes, yep. yes. Mm -hmm. And so we have one of her works um, here. We're gonna have that as our backdrop for the episode. And that thing is cold blooded. It yes. is Michael Jackson bag. What? <laughs> Where did you cut this? What? what? Okay, oh tell us God. about this. Most of these styles were in the nineties. Okay. okay. These were in the nineties. Mm -hmm. That's still a relevant cut today. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Like it, that's like a timeless. Mm -hmm. It don't even get old. Right. It don't go mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. all. Yes. But I'm saying, check out the fade on the side. That's so precise and pristine. Yeah. Blend. <laughs> and blending because a lot blending. of a lot of people cannot blend a haircut. Cannot blend. You know what and it's yes. giving me that uh, the group total that's how the total. one always mm -hmm. had that bad that short, yeah. haircut. Well, that's what we did. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Anita Baker. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, a Halle Berry. Yeah. You know, Monica yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Monica has some looks good for them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Tony yes. B. So, Tony, oh, Tony has some good. Cuts. Yes, she did. Tony yeah. did. Yes. Yeah. Tony Braxton. Like, what do you think? Like, the difference is in the style stylist back in the day versus the stylist now the beauticians you know what i'm saying what's the difference uh that you notice we were more creative mm -hmm. i feel yeah uh mm -hmm. in the 90s we created a lot of different styles mm -hmm. uh i did mm -hmm. i i create i my motto was to create a look for you yeah you know what i'm saying i i can't give you a look, mm -hmm. but I can give you a look. Taylor, you see what I'm saying? Taylor, so it's Taylor made, for you. and it's right. different now. Mm -hmm. It's like basically, I don't see a lot of uh, creativity going on. It's just basically throwing a lace on now mm -hmm. and going about your business. Yeah, it's like uh, that's they took the groundwork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They did yeah. the groundwork. Yeah. Almost every hairstyle that I've done, I was nervous. Mm -hmm. and, and people don't even, Think never it. have never well, seen that. you wouldn't have never thought. But well, why? Yes. I want to know why. Like, it's just because you felt like Perfect. this is kind of your baby and you wanted to make sure that it was no, to their I liking. Just, I just always felt like. Because uh, was every hairstyle I, different? To, to the point where it's like I'm gotta recreate. This is not me copying the same. No, bob it's not over basically the same hairstyle. It's more or less. It, it's it's the person. Mm -hmm. It's the, the attitude. Yeah. It's the personality. Are they gonna it's like your it? energy? Exactly. You know, you give me good energy. Yeah. You gonna you gonna, you gonna walk out of here right. with Absolutely. your head held high. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. But if you come in with a bad energy, I I reflect off yeah. that. I'm sorry. That's just yeah. how I am. Yeah. And 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 it's like. 
some people it's like I be kind of like nervous and it's like, mm-hmm. would you just let me be me? Mm-hmm. Let me be me and you're going to be all right. Right. But it's like when you have a person that comes in and they want to direct you. Mm-hmm. You can't direct me mm-hmm. because I'm led by the Holy Spirit. I know okay. That. Right. So he works through me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't tell sense. me, well, I want you to do it like this. Well, then you need to do that. Okay. Right. Because that's not how I do that. Right. You know, so it's a lot of that going on. Mm-hmm. Like I said, a lot of create creativity is, is not there. Uh, they don't give you time to expand your mind. Okay. You know, we, I, I would have to sit and think. Like mm-hmm. homework. Process it. Uh, somebody coming in Friday, girl, and they want this right here. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh Lord, oh, Lord, you want to help me on this one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Basically. Yeah. And, and and you get in there and you do it. Uh-huh. But you do it better if it's less attitude. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, but you got some people that might not be comfortable with you their first time or, Mm-hmm. And they mm-hmm. looking in the mirror and all of that. I don't mm-hmm. like that at all. Well, now but I the... deal with it, but you know. Mm-hmm. And then once I get you out of the way, then you be like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, ready for the next time. Yeah, ready for the next time. Well, but it's like that that first time you sit in that chair. Just let me do it. Uh-huh. You called me for a reason. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You didn't call me to argue with you or fall right. out with you because mm-hmm. you want your hair like this. And it's like, okay, I'm gonna do your hair like that. But now your face is different from her face. You <laughs> right, know what I'm saying? Right, right. So it's a lot of stuff that you have to cover right. when you when your hairstyle is done. I feel like and you they brought don't up do a good a lot point. Of that these days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your point a minute ago about the uh, when you come in my chair, your attitude, mm-hmm. um, your energy. Because I feel like now some days with some stylists, they have the attitude. You're That's sitting in the chair and they attitude, have the attitude. Stylists. You have some stylists with bad attitudes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at the same time, they didn't come out like that, though. A lot of people made them have bad attitudes, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then some people don't know how to hide their attitude. Mm-hmm. But it worked both ways, so it's like... Well, I'm going to say, because it seems like a lot of stylists nowadays don't go through the proper training. Like, Well, I'm not going to say the proper training, but don't go through like the cosmetology schools. You know, they may have taken a little course or, you know, something mm-hmm. like that, so... Do you think that it's necessary that, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Cause did you get a lot of information, knowledge g- from going through cosmetology school? Well, going to school or? is basically, you want to go to school to get your, you want to learn your craft. Mm-hmm. If, if, if this is what you're called to do, you mm-hmm. want to be able to master your craft. Right. So I would suggest going to school yeah. because that's going to build a lot of structure. You, mm-hmm. you need that when you get out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then then you have to realize that once you get in school, school is just basically teaching you the basics mm-hmm. to pass state board. Yeah. Right. You see what I'm saying? All the other that all the creativeness and all of that that come after that. Yeah. You got to pass state board. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But then in our line of work, a lot of people don't pass state board. Then a lot of people quit. Yeah. And then they still just do it on the side. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, and I feel like you you shortcutting yourself. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So, do you um? What about the foundation of cutting? What do you feel is different now from then, as far as like, um, a lot of new school hairstylists they specialize in my opinion, mm-hmm. like lace fronts or braids mm-hmm. or something. They mm-hmm. don't like they, a tray. A tray. They can't. Mm-hmm. I couldn't. Sit, Everybody couldn't sit in a hair stylist chair today because they might not can't do that. For example, if I bring this and say do this haircut, mm-hmm. a lot of the new stylists today can't do that haircut. They're not versatile exactly. in that. Do you think that's good or bad? And what are your what are your thoughts on that? Well, it, it worked both ways. It's like it's a good thing that uh, they don't know how to do it, but if they like me. They're going to want to jump in and do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if it's something that you feel like you can conquer, go ahead and do it. But if it's something that you can't conquer, let that person know, mm-hmm. I'm right. not too comfortable with this right. style. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't want to mess it up. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So let's do this one. Right. Let's do, you know, look in the book. Let's look in the book. Let's find, let's something, find something that's going to fit you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's you why saying? I was saying like about the going to cosmetology school, because I know there they teach you like your 90 degree angles. You know what I'm saying? Well, they teach like you all the, the different levels. Like I said, basically mm-hmm. how to pass state board. You got to learn how to cut. You got to mm-hmm. learn how to 
color. You got to right. learn how to section. You got to learn how to... Everything that you learn in school, you're going to need it when you get out. Eventually. Right. And that's what uh, the new schoolers don't understand. Mm -hmm. They think when they get to school, they're supposed to learn how to uh, put on a lace wig the second day of school. No. Yeah. They're supposed to learn how to... You know, you got to cry. You, you got to learn how to use a Marcel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they you don't gotta use learn that. how to use a Marcel mm -hmm. in class. Yeah. Oh, you, you got to sit there and you got to roll that Marcel because mm -hmm. you got to know how to use that Marcel. It's hot. Mm -hmm. It's going in the oven. <laughs> right. right. But you know are they saying? still teaching that today? They're going to have a class on it. Because I, I mean, haven't seen those. And then it's according to who your, I think your instructor, instructor is. is okay. I, I think some do because like Adriana's mm -hmm. in cosmetology school for nails, but she still has to learn hair. You still have and to I see them some, in there with classes, the Marcel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, but once they get out, they probably leave that there because I don't see them in shops anymore like I used to. Marcel's? Uh-uh. Well, that's what I'm saying. Most of the new school stylists, they're, uh, they, they're not creators. They're not, mm -hmm. yeah. Those things, you, you have yeah. to know how to work those that's things. A, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a, that is a, that's serious right there. I used to oh, be like, yeah. how do they work that wrist. thing? That's what I'm, yeah. And yeah, you need <laughs> to go to wrist. school and learn how to work that yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's what that is. Mm -hmm. You got to learn how to work your tools. That's what that, That's why they're called tools. Mm -hmm. You got to learn how to work your scissors, your razors, your clippers, yeah. your trimmers, all that. Mm -hmm. So before Pins, needles, yeah. hair mm -hmm. needles. All, you got to learn how to work out. You got to learn how to use all of those yeah. things. You, you have a class on products. You got to learn your conditioners, your treatments. You got to learn all that. Mm -hmm. And then they think they don't have to learn that. But you need to learn that. Yeah. But do you need to... Because gluing on a lace wig every day is not that good. Because sometimes <laughs> you, you're going to miss these yeah. little edges mm -hmm. around here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And you got so to do that properly. When a new style come in, yeah. you, you can't wear that style... You see what I'm saying? So now you got to do a treatment. You got to yeah. get your edges back. <laughs> so, so you got to learn how to do that. When you're a stylist, you see, you, I see your edges. Now what I look like doing your hair, covering it up, mm -hmm. and not treating your hair. Right. Right. This is my passion. Mm. When you sit in my chair, your hair belongs to me. Yeah. You see I what love I'm saying? that. So if it's broke off, I'm going to let you know it's broke off. Exactly. And I'm going to ask you, what happened? Right. Because I know I didn't do that. Yeah. And yeah. I know what you did. No, uh, uh, <laughs> see, you know, no, I already know what you did, right. you know what I'm saying? Wait. It's either going to be color damage, perm so damage, true. scissor damage, whatever. So yeah. Okay. I know and that's how it what looks, I think so. a lot of, well, well, some of them nowadays, they don't uh, treat your hair. They that's don't what I'm take saying. care of your when, hair. When I see damage going on, the, okay, we're going we to stop yeah. this right here. We're mm -hmm. going to put a treatment on here right. and get this corrected right now. Like, give this a then rest. Then we can continue doing what mm -hmm. we got to do. But we're going to get this out of the way. Right. And I feel like it's very unprofessional if you see some damage going on in your client. Just cover it up. And, you and you're just, just covering it up. Yeah. Who does that? Okay. But you know, it is it is what it is. So. Mm -hmm. I love that, Deborah, because mm -hmm. I, I I hear a lot of people today when they want to go find a stylist and they say, I have to watch who I let in my head. Mm -hmm. Every they don't want everybody touching mm -hmm. their head. But mm -hmm. prior to us um airing, you talked about like short styles like this and how they make wigs now that try to mimic it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, like, it's it's just not the same. Not mm -hmm. the same. You said they took that away from us. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's going along those lines of everybody. You could just buy the wig in bulk. You get one, you get one, you get one. It's the same right. hairstyle. No difference. And you have to, at home, if you don't know how to wear clippers, if you don't know how to, mm -hmm. you're just going to walk around with that generic mm -hmm. wig looking like everybody else. Mm -hmm. right. Trying well, to get and this. And basically, it's, it's more or less like a... A microwave effect they want it right now Instant. and so y'all know for a fact we stayed in the beauty shop for for long mm -hmm. hours yep all day because all day all every day. one of my clients i'm gonna spend two to three hours on your head mm -hmm. yeah because we were creating right we were creating we didn't ha it wasn't already there we didn't have to take it and just glue it on mm -hmm. yeah we had to literally section and do what we had to do, mm -hmm. make sure it's in there right. Then we had to cut it. Mm -hmm. So and something, then once you cut it, then it ain't over with. It still ain't mm -hmm. over. You still got to mold it. it. Yeah. Put it in the dryer. Yeah. Now yeah. you got to <laughs> style it. Yep. Yeah. Right, right. Everybody that can cut might not can't style. style. Yeah. Or vice versa. Or vice mm -hmm. versa. You might can style, but you can't cut it. Yeah. And that so, was the thing about 
y'all's era, y'all multitask like nobody. Mm-hmm. Because it could be six of those type of detail haircuts. Because <laughs> y'all one. made us do that. Right. Y'all, right. y'all come in there. I want, I want a ponytail over here on the side. Right. And a some swoop bang. Going around this the bang. Yeah. Yeah. The bang. Squash the top. Don't squash the top. Yeah. Flip yeah. the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you might get a little French roll over here <laughs> in the corner right here. Miss Deborah. Yeah. So back then, um, how much would something like this mm, have costed mm-hmm. versus today? Back. Just, yeah, just this little the mm-hmm. cutting uh-huh. style right here. Probably back then in the nineties, probably was forty dollars. Yep. Mm-hmm. And how yep. much would you charge today for that same style? For that same style? No, like you only said, only because they're charging that price. Yes. Oh, yeah. I would probably charge sixty five. Yeah. See, hearing you I say that two that hours, high. I would want you to. Yeah, I still up wouldn't go that high. Okay. I don't. I don't. What I do is in me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so it's hard for me to put a price on what I do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And and I I done lost that a whole lot because a lot of times I just I just throw a price out there and it don't matter. You shortchanging yourself. So I shortchange myself and it's okay because I love it. You and it's like I work with black women. Mm-hmm. And I know we we struggle. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna make to me take cry. All your money. Right. You already got to go buy to her. Yeah. yeah. You got to buy to her. And, and so, Maddie make you buy the glue oh, and the yeah. spritz and the gel. And bring the uh, shampoo too. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna, gonna charge say. you twenty five dollars extra if I got a shampoo. I was yeah, just gonna yeah. ask you mm-hmm. with the okay, shampoo. Okay, so it'd be sixty five plus twenty five. Plus twenty five more. Right. Okay. And I'm right. like, really? That no, came with my price. With my the price, shampoo, is shampoo and conditioner came right. with that. Yeah. Now if I had to do a treatment, mm-hmm. then that might have been five dollars yeah. extra. But not nothing. Not just I definitely would pay a hundred dollars plus for today's time. That's that's two something in Dallas. Yeah. Okay. See. Yeah. I'm. Now, let me ask you this, because now, like, they charge a lot of money now. Do you think that the hair, do you think that it's worth, do you think we're getting robbed for our services? Meaning, I don't know when the last time a hairstylist actually wanted to, like, if you get a hairstylist that can shampoo your hair and do it good, that's a gift. Mm-hmm. Because that a lot is. of times they don't want a halfway shampoo. Mm-hmm. They don't want to comb the hair out. The shampoo shampoo they don't want to do none yeah. of that no more. Mm-hmm. And it's like we'll still sit there and pay two something. And I just don't know. I don't know if the service has been lost in hairstyles. There used that. to be a service to me to where it was like I came there to talk, to vent, to learn, to. The beauty shop used to be called the black woman's uh Spa, you uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's where right. we would go, mm-hmm. go and relax, kick back. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? In some shops that I worked in, they we had wine mm-hmm. and uh, food. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, and then because you got different clientele, you got your morning clientele, mm-hmm. and then you got your evening clientele. Your evening clientele consists of women that has gotten off of work, mm-hmm. and they run to get them something to eat, and they come to the beauty shop. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then they sit there, they eat, they food, they wait, they laugh, they talk, and they have a good time. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And it's like now, it's like you go in there, and it's like you scared and did it's, you pay your deposit? Yeah, and, uh, it's, all of that. Uh, it's it's like, cumbersome. Okay, yeah, did you bring all your stuff? Uh, yeah, I got and it's nobody oh, yeah. but no, you a lot. I like already it. spent a hundred fifty like dollars. Either they don't, they might not that, you know that part. No TV. or no, it's just silent. You just because it's no, it's no. Don't even say hey, how you doing? Have a seat. Or they got something on that you really don't care to hear, and they don't care about it. They don't care what. Less, I, I, hey, but hey, that's what that is. So hey, it's done changed a lot. It has changed. It's the changed whole changed dynamic a lot. has changed. And the, I, I used to like to go and see other people. Like when I used to get my hair done, like when we used to go to Stephanie's. Mm-hmm. I don't know who I'm gonna see up in there for Saturday. Mm-hmm. I'm talking and having a good time. Mm-hmm. Now it's literally one client mm-hmm. per person. Like there is nobody else right. in there but you. And I'm yeah. just like, this feels. Like a doctor's office almost. Yeah. It just don't feel. It don't feel like a, a hair salon. No, beauty shop. not yeah. none. Like no, back no in more. the day, no. No, more. it don't. And like mm-hmm. going as a younger girl, you heard like the old. You like you gain a little knowledge. Like yes. you know what I'm saying. You learning mm-hmm. yes, exactly. life lessons. They yeah. talking. They in your what, ear. Yeah, exactly. They in your yeah. ear. Or just right. hearing y'all talk no more. about I'm that. Sorry. No, you don't have it's that anymore. And some people, it would be like a little. If it is one on one, like a little therapy. Therapeutic yes. type of oh, you know mini hats. Yes, yes. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because we were teachers, we were ministers, mm-hmm. doctors, 
we were we was everything. groomers mm-hmm. because you guys made us want to be ladies. Exactly. Who I'm speaking gonna of, minister to my black that's sisters. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. The platform he gave me was mm-hmm. to minister to my sisters. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what I was doing every day. Mm-hmm. He Beautiful. just gave me a gift mm-hmm. to get me through the job. Wow. Let's you talk about saying? dress code. <laughs> that's what Let's shift the gears to well, dress, dress code. code. Dress code. Yeah. Let's talk about. I don't like the dress code of the new stylist these days. What no, is no, it no. like, Sisha? Okay. When a style back in the day, Miss Evelyn Cookie. Damn, Boy, baby, smart. they gon' I'm gonna walk in there and be like they beautiful, mm-hmm. top notch. <laughs> yeah, they deck down earrings, makeup, hair, clothes. Mm-hmm. It was just yeah. like it was just like you wanted to be them. Like I couldn't yeah. wait to be older. You to, did to dress up. Yes, yes. they dress yes. up yes. yes. like them, yes. and they smelled good. Mm-hmm. And now yeah. it's just like they coming in oh, and they huffing up. It's like what? A, wait a minute, what's going on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk to us about that. What, wh- where did y'all get that idea to do that at? And what do you think about now? They doing your hair with a bonnet on. Yeah. They got a bonnet on. And they doing your hair. If they, if even that, her <laughs> might be flying. <laughs> I'm telling so, you. Crocs I'm saying saying the professionalism okay. is not it's there. It's gone. What, uh, what do you, what, what, where did y'all get that but from? that comes from within. And it's like, because that has to shine through. So it's like you, you, you don't carry that light. Mm-hmm. You don't mm-hmm. carry that light, right? And it's like, you, and it's a big difference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, because back then y'all were like a walking advertisement. Mm-hmm. That part, you it's know just, what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. you have stylists. Mm-hmm. Nobody's gonna even think you a stylist because you don't way, even you carry yourself exactly. as a stylist. Exactly. You know? exactly. So I feel like yeah. that you should be a walking billboard, mm-hmm. right? What, you a was mannequin? That, was that just? But mm-hmm. well, that's just like mandatory. No thought about it. Or was it something where it? No, you're supposed to learn that in in class. You're supposed to learn that in school. I'm also an instructor. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I taught my students when I lived in Garland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I worked at her ITS Her Academy in Mesquite, mm-hmm. actually. And no, you cannot come in my class. Come on. Mm-hmm. And your hair is wrapped. Okay. Well, Miss Demer, I'm finna come with that. I said, I know you are, but you finna get up out of here. Uh, okay. And you can start all the way over. Yeah. Because yeah. you gonna come to my class suited. And booty. And booty. That's it. And ready to go. One hundred percent. I go. agree with that. Yeah. You're not finna come in here put no makeup on. Right, you're not at they home. Should you should have did that. You should already have that okay. on. This is what you do every day. This, show this is like a job. Exactly. This is a job. Right. Like a career. How right. you look right now is how you looked yeah. cutting my hair. But that's how you you're supposed to that, that is how you looked mm-hmm. cutting my hair. Miss Evelyn, I never mm-hmm. caught her. With a sl- slides on mm-hmm. or not, not no lipstick on, not smelling good. Like, I don't yeah. understand that. That is now, one thing. At the I'm end like, of the I'll... day, we going to throw them slides on at the yeah, end of the day. Yeah, and that's day. understandable. But y'all still <laughs> going to be there No, like, right. but y'all going to be, uh-huh. but y'all going to be decked from head to toe. Right. Y'all yeah. may start off. I used to wear mine. You know, I used to wear pumps. Mm-hmm. And boots every day, and it's like people be like, "You you working that all day?" I'm like, "You know what? These are only for entering in, right? And okay. Out. So when <laughs> yeah. I come in, I'm good, and I'm finna kick them okay. off after about the second step. Yep. After the second style, I'm finna kick them off, put my glass on, and we finna go to okay. work. You know. But then after that, it's over with. I'm finna put my shoes back on. Mm-hmm. I'm finna go home. They yeah. were bad and bougie. <laughs> what do you think about the booking process, like? I kind of like question. your booking. I like the booking process from back in the day. I know mm-hmm. times are changing. We got to move a little bit. Yeah. But what do you think basically, about the booking process? Basically, it was basically just, you know, call and make your appointment. But now it's basically uh, you got to set up a, a something on here. You got to go on here. You got to read all of this stuff. And, uh, you know, I can't bring this person to your house. And. Uh, oh, oh, I got to have put a deposit down. Credit Lord, card. Uh-huh. A credit card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't even know you. <laughs> and you might not show up. Hey, that's and I didn't pay you yes. a deposit. Please people give me the right that. address. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. And then you're going to keep Before my money when I show up to the wrong address. Mm, you're going to cancel my appointment when yes. I get there late. Well, right. Because Stina. I couldn't find your appointment. Yeah. Yeah. But you're going to keep my money, though. I don't know. It's just crazy. I if y'all want to do that, that's yeah. on them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you like to do, then that's fine. I can't, I can't knock their business though. You know, but I just feel like I, I made it a little bit easier for my mm-hmm. clients. Yeah, I had like a little book. Yeah, 
Because you mm-hmm. would come in, they would flip to the book, mm-hmm. and they would show the or name. Or if you call, hold on. Let me check my book. Let me check my book. Call and yeah, make that appointment. Call and make that appointment. It was so simple. It was and so I simple. I got your number, you got mine. Exactly. So, so, so I'm I like, okay, days. if you running late, call me let me know that. Exactly. I miss it too, Tisha, because if you're getting up there in age and you're, or you're not good with social mm-hmm. media, for you to force me to have to go mm-hmm. on social media and book that way right. and pay a deposit. somebody else do it for you. It's going to be tedious. Like, I don't want to do that. Why can't? I just call you and yeah, I'm not computer mm-hmm. savvy, so yeah. If, right. if I'm I do if hair all day, my I don't money. work on computers all day. Yeah, if I don't you, have the time to even learn all day. Exactly. Yeah. I don't want to learn. Exactly. I don't care. Here, right. put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here, program that in there for me. Right. But but yeah, I'm like I don't want to have to go in there and find your thing and do all of that. It's I'm just not easier to write pen you in. So yeah. I'm like you know what? I guess I can't go get no wig mm-hmm. put on. Then I guess I got to put my own on. It. <laughs> well, I seen a video I mean, the other day. It was this uh, this lady and her husband or whatever. They drove four hours away. Okay. She had a hair appointment. She get there. The lady say, um, I'm sorry. I can't do your hair because my child is sick. And she's like, okay, well, can I have my deposit back? And she would not give her her deposit back. She was like, no, I'm so sorry. That's a, a no. It's a no re- refundable mm-hmm. or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I can understand if it's something if she cancel, but right. you're the one having to cancel. Run her her money yeah, back. Like money that's back crazy because your baby got sick. Exactly. I mean, it, it, it's things that's happen. Like a personal problem. But still, just to kind of show you that. You know, I feel bad about it when my exactly. baby got sick. Right. I'm going to give you money back. Right. But and you had four had to hours. Drive. Exactly. But you know in four saying? hours, you couldn't call me and tell me don't come? Yeah. And then the thing, her, 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 the lady, the beautician or whatever, her boyfriend or the kid's daddy was there. Too. So, like, why they just couldn't go pick him up and you go ahead on about yeah. business, you mm-hmm. know? But mm-hmm. some people like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, let, walk us through your starting Walk us through that so everybody can know, like your testimony. Like, walk us through hair school. Oh, my God. And then where did you start at? <laughs> that was in uh, January 1989 is when I started Vogue wow. Beauty College mm-hmm. on Franklin. Mm-hmm. Uh, went through that process. The 90s rolled in and sh- took off. I uh, had no idea that I was going to take off like that, but God did. But mm-hmm. And uh, I think the first, the actually first place that I worked right out of school uh, was a beauty shop called Renegades. And uh, it was owned by uh, a stylist named Mae Miles. Mm-hmm. I worked in there uh, maybe a week or two. Didn't work in there that long, but. That's where I actually first started out. Then I went to Master Cuts okay. on the Rich Lamar. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if a lot of people remember that one, but that's mm-hmm. where I actually started out and got my first start in cutting. I wanted to get my cutting skills down. Yeah. And for some reason, that has followed me mm-hmm. forever, and I'm glad I did that. And that's what I suggest to students. You know, get your get your skills down before mm-hmm. you go into a full service yeah. salon. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because... Full service is brutal, <coughs> and you got people in there that expect for you to do right. that coming on your out. first time coming out, <laughs> and you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. And they will break your spirit. Yeah, You know, they will talk crazy to you and break you down where you don't even want to do her no more. Mm-hmm. So don't let them do that to yeah. you. But, yeah, I started at Master Cuts and went on from there. I think I got a call from uh, David Chandler, Chandler's of Houston. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh just different places. Oh my God, it was so many. I don't even know the name. Simply gorgeous. That mm-hmm. was mine. Motions. Mm-hmm. Uh, Motions. With Nita Motions. down yeah. there with Nita. Uh, oh my God, we were everywhere. We were everywhere. How many clients? Yeah. How many heads did you, would you have on a on a at your peak on a Saturday? Oh God, Saturdays. Who back in my peak? Uh, they all ran together. Thursday ran into Friday, Friday ran into <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> and Saturday ran yeah. into Sunday morning, uh-huh. and I'm coming home by 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, it, it ran like Well, yeah, mm-hmm. that's not unheard of to be. We used to no. come out of there late. Yes. Be sitting there yes. Like, I never, yep. I never yes. got to go out. I never yeah. got to do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Because uh, I was in the beauty shop. Uh, 
I got everybody ready to go. Right. Go so out. I seen everybody before they got yeah. there. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I didn't have to go to the club. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Because I already know how you're going to look yeah. when you get to the club because I gave you that look, you know. So, yeah. Right. But, yeah, uh, it was it was crucial. It really, really was. And I, I'm just blessed mm-hmm. that n- many of those nights coming out of that late, I didn't get robbed or okay. anything mm-hmm. like that. And Beartis, some Beartis did get robbed. robbed. I've, yes, and I remember. Like I said, I'm just blessed that... And I worked in the middle of chaos. Mm-hmm. Middle of chaos. I mean, I've seen it all. It's yeah. like I've seen so much happen. It is crazy. But that's just my life growing mm-hmm. up. And it's like, and I love it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wouldn't yeah. change none of it. Mm-hmm. So know. back in 1989, Vogue, mm-hmm. how many, how long was the schooling back? How, how long did you have to go for cosmetology school? Cosmetology, back then? It's still, it's still the same. Fine. You have to get 1500 hours. Okay. So that's up to you. You can go eight hours a day for five days a week mm-hmm. and that'll be 40 hours a week. So you mm-hmm. just got to make it to 1500, but every, every step, you know, has a different thing at school, but a uh, phase one, phase two, phase three. Uh, and basically just, Try to get there in nine months. You can do it in nine months. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you're going to have some days where you get sick or call my, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And so you just have to kind of make it. Your deadline is going to be a nine-month span. But if you go over that deadline, you just have okay. to make up those hours. So I hear you say you taught in Mesquite. Mm-hmm. Did you ever have moments with you being such an amazing stylist where you had people that you worked with in like motions or different salons where you had to pull them to the side or they asked you hey can you give me some tips can you show me inside how to cut a little bit everywhere I went Mm. everywhere I go and and that's fine I I don't mind Um, I used to do that at channels Uh, channels expanded and so a lot of new girls came out Mm -hmm. Uh, Natasha McDaniel uh, Patricia Stafford, mm-hmm. uh, Sharonda Stewart, uh, uh, Stephanie Price. A lot of different stylists came mm-hmm. into that era. And um, it was like I seen them grow. I watched them grow. I helped them grow. Uh, mm-hmm. Just go on from there. And when I moved to Garland, it was like I'm, I'm actually finna move to Garland, Dallas, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, ooh, I'm finna go up here, I'm finna right, show right. out. You know what I'm like? I'm finna learn this, I'm mm-hmm. finna learn that. And it's like, that's what I was. So when I got there, yeah. I'm, I'm just assuming that most of the people that were there, maybe they'd have moved off. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't meet a lot of people that were from Dallas. I met a lot of people that were from everywhere else mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that came to Dallas. Mm-hmm. So it's like, uh, I'm up in here in this beauty shop for the first time. And I thank God that I had clientele to follow me. Uh-huh. They have followed me everywhere I have went. Okay. I apologize, Miss Deborah. I gotta stop you guys for two seconds. Sorry, just um, if she with one of the cards, if you guys aren't good, I just gotta stop it and put it in. Okay. Sorry, it's just right out of space. Okay. Okay. But He's yeah. Hold that thought, Miss Deborah. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> He scared me. I thought he was gonna say. I thought you said it wasn't recorded. I was about to say. And that basically wasn't it i ended up having to show them a couple of techniques oh, okay you know mm-hmm. and they'd be like oh how did you how, you know we used to uh take that gel and gel up our ponytails uh-huh. you know what i'm saying get up under that dry and it's gonna be hard yeah and they, <laughs> <laughs> they weren't doing a lot of that uh-huh. the stuff that we were doing here they weren't doing it okay up there mm-hmm. and i'm like they were like how you get that how you get that to stay up there like jail yeah, you know, come on now, you right. know, and just different things that I showed them, and it's like, well, I get, you know, and it was mm-hmm. like this is how it was, and uh, I got my first share shake from Dallas. I enjoyed it. Uh-huh. I really, really did. I came back. My mom got sick, okay. so I ended up moving back to Waco. But so you yeah. did have a lot of clientele. I ended up building up a lot of clientele yeah, in Dallas. I really, really did. Yeah, and I left a lot of clientele mm-hmm. in Waco when I left Waco. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, you know, and when I came back, it was just totally different. Yeah. Uh, it was a different route. God just kind of directed me in different mm-hmm. different areas because I was teaching when I came back. Okay. So it was like I was trying to go in that field, and mm-hmm. it didn't work out in Waco, but, mm-hmm. uh, you know, so. Well, you name-dropped a minute ago. Much respect. 
shout out to all of those beauticians in Waco because yeah. we know all of them and love yeah. them, love them all. Yeah. So we appreciate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wants, shout out to the ones that's gone. Evelyn Cotton. Yeah. That was my Cookie. buddy in beauty school. <laughs> Cookie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's just a lot of them. Like I said, Diane. They did. A lot of people don't know nothing yeah. about Diane and Irma. They were like 1989 stylists. They uh, that took the 80s out into the 90s and they moved on mm-hmm. uh, to other states or whatever. So. Uh, and it's just David Chandler. Yeah. Uh, it's just a lot I of remember Chandler's guys. because Clintel, Clintel uh, used yeah, to work Clintel. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just uh-huh. a lot of different styles that I've came up with, and we really turned Waco out. We yeah. did. Yeah, you yeah, did. We did. did. We turned yeah, Waco absolutely. out. A person would love. You couldn't wait to go to the beauty mm-hmm. shop back in the day. Oh no, yeah. that it's was not just the something. Same, but yes, uh, not, that was a come. budget in your budget. You gonna put your money back, exactly. baby. You put your money back mm-hmm. for the beauty shop. Faithfully, right. Mm-hmm. And you enjoyed <laughs> going to the. And beauty you know shop. what you was gonna look like when you came out. Oh, yeah. You yeah. knew um, you was gonna be ready. Mini, I got to shout out Mini. Mini was another. I don't know if you remember Mini, but she was another um old school um. Her stylist. I worked with many a uh, couple months. I worked with many. This yeah. was back in like ninety five. Yeah, 19. she used to. She, she was at that little brown, the little brown duplex. Everybody done been in that little. You so talking long. about Mr. Lewis? Down at the insurance place. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. She worked mm-hmm. there. Were, I know Chip used to work over there, too. We all worked over there. Okay. I don't remember Minnie working over that's there. That's where Cookie started out. Yeah, she sure did. And when yeah, she left she her, sure that's did. when she opened up the uh-huh. other one. Okay, Cookie was there. Uh, Chip was over there. Uh, Yolanda Taplin's still yeah. over there. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, Is that who I used to braid our hair? There. Who? Yolanda. Yolanda. Who braided our oh. hair? That was Cynthia. Kathy? Cynthia. Or, Cynthia. Oh, okay, Cynthia. Cynthia. Yeah. Okay, Kathy. Mm-hmm. I remember Kathy. Kathy. Yes. It was. We had a lot of different uh-huh. stylists. That some of them aren't here anymore, and some mm-hmm. of them are still here. But yeah, we had a we had a good yeah. team back then. Yeah, we it really was beautiful. Did. And that was good. I mean, you could we go had some to, good barbers too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you could go to y'all and select like what kind of style do I want? Mm-hmm. I mean, y'all specialized in doing. Diff- you know what I'm saying? I, had I many say y'all made us. Y'all created us. Y'all had us do doing those things mm-hmm. you know it's like swimming you jump on in and start swimming mm-hmm. but you scared to yeah. jump in you know yeah. but once you jump in and mm-hmm. be like you need know, start you do know you, yeah. okay do you so. think there's a um when did you see the decline or the change in the in the industry and how did you feel about it because since i wasn't necessarily in it i didn't really see it happening mm-hmm. i think it wasn't until i just was like Wait a minute. Where are the magazines? Or wait a minute. Why you just start slowly being like, why is ain't nobody else in here? But then now looking, I'm like, we had some good times, and it's yeah. just not the same at all. Mm-hmm. When did you see? Like what year? And how did you feel? Like what 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 happened there? Well, Talk you us know, to that. be yeah. honest with you, when I started actually seeing a difference was right after nine one one, and that was a while ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was like, okay. Nine one one, and it was like that stuff changed, yeah. you know. And I had been seeing it change ever since then. And then when the pandemic hit, oh my God, it showed it yeah. get ugly then. Yeah. But even before that, to me, it seemed like it changed a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, just far as uh, professionalism. Uh, structure in a beauty shop, mm-hmm. uh, just people being there for you uh, when you need them uh, at the beauty shop. You mm-hmm. know, it's just a big change to me. Mm-hmm. Long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Yes. You want to show some of her work? <coughs> I think we should definitely oh, do that. Um, yeah. I got some more questions, but let's just go through this and let's just talk these through. Okay. Okay. I know this girl. I keep this. She looks so she familiar. Looks She's beautiful. Familiar. Yeah. This would be a finger wave with what the bantu knots. What would the, you? those were? Uh, no, those were actually twists. Twist, twist oh, breaks. Okay. Like the well, flat twist. We call twist. them twist breaks. The flat twist. Like the uh-huh. flat twist. Yeah. And then oh. we just twisted it up, and yeah. on the end, we, yeah. you know how we did made the knots and yeah. we spread it them out, and then uh, we even did ponytails like that. Remember, uh-huh. we used to put the little toothpicks, the Chinese toothpicks. Yes. When we did uh-huh. that, we mm-hmm. did a whole. We done did a whole. Beautiful. Thing. Very very creative. So, but that but that is finger wave in the front though, right? No, no that's, that's the that's twist. The flat twist. Oh, like some of used to like to wear. Yeah. It's like a finger wave. That's why I put that on there because we back to that. Yeah. Yeah. Back mm-hmm. to that. That was a ninety. That was like a ninety. That's like a TLC look. Five. Uh huh. Look. Blink. Blank. Eight oh eight. They used to rock that. That it's is so twenty four. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. 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 We back to that. Mm-hmm. Dang. She. I, she's so. She looked familiar. Okay. 
Oh, and this is, we got the little girl that. hairstyles. We that's pretty straightened back then. Mm-hmm. Healthy. Know. We and what ha- and that's another thing that's changed. <coughs> we don't think about growing the hair no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the little kids is looking mm-hmm. grown with their hairstyles oh, now. Yep. Yes, and I miss this look. This Providing just for me look. Hair. Exactly. Yes. She she yes. probably grown now, yes. but look, look, that's another be- timeless. Uh-huh. You will never, you know, yeah. you can never, yeah. they can never get old. So walk us through. How do you maintain? What? How would you maintain this hair today? Like, what would you? So you saying you washing it? You shampooing it? You gre- are you greasing it? On I don't her, know. her probably, uh, that was probably a straightening comb, like I said. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. basically, she didn't have a perm. Mm-hmm. So we straightened that hair. Mm-hmm. We washed it, conditioned it. Now, now, when I was growing up, they used to plait our hair and let it dry. On, you know what okay. I'm saying? Then we go in the kitchen, uh-huh. <laughs> take it down, comb. But in a beauty shop, I'm just probably going to blow dry it, and mm-hmm. it's going to be this big. And uh-huh. big. But you got to bro- blow dry it, break it down in sections, and you straighten it. And you're going to use that grease on there. Okay. You're going to use raw ground. <laughs> <laughs> blue. Uh, blue so are you going to use a hot comb or either uh, like a hot straight comb? Straight comb like the hot comb yeah. you put on the mm-hmm. stove? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, okay. what, that's what that was. Uh, like I said, we got flat irons now mm-hmm. that probably basically kind of do the same, same thing. thing. But, yeah. but you wouldn't wrap her hair, right? At the time, no, we didn't wrap that hair okay. at the time. Uh, basically, she was probably going to wear that for Easter. And uh-huh. then it's probably going to be in ponytails after that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how much mm-hmm. would this cost? That right there probably ran about $40. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Back mm-hmm. then. Yeah. yeah. And now it's probably 120 Mm-hmm. More than that. Where are all the pictures? Mason? Go back. Go the other direction. See mm-hmm. if it'll, if you go the other direction. Yeah, go the other oh, direction. Oh, yeah, you're right, because I did that. Never mind. Mm-hmm. No, sorry, Mason. Never mind. Okay, right here. You like this one. Timeless yes, haircut, because for some yeah. reason, it I like the color. I did you color this one, Deborah? Uh-huh. So that's another thing. You colored, color. cut, you did everything. Uh, with some highlights in the front, and basically... Um, Cutting style, just kind of a mixture with some spikes. You know, we started the spike era too. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. And that blend is on point. That blend, blend. you can't yeah. man. Summer, when I tell point. you, it's hard to find people that can blend oh, now. Yeah. It's, it's the hard. color for me. Mm-hmm. The way the color, <laughs> like it's shade. There is no line. It just, right. it just yeah. goes. Mm-hmm. It's seamless. Mm-hmm. Natural beauty, like ombre. It yeah. is gorgeous, but mm-hmm. she, you know what? She kind of reminds me of uh, the uh, the sister with the Braxtons who kind of who passed away a little bit. Oh, oh, crazy. Oh, yeah. She kind of yeah. looks yeah. like her a little bit. Kind of a, um, these you look want glamorous. See that? You want to see that? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been more looked at her face. I'm looking at her. Hair. <laughs> yeah, I see that too. She That's does. a nice haircut. Does. And this would have cost sixty five for everything from the rooter to the tutor. With the highlights. Uh, with the highlights, yeah. No wow. more than seventy. No yeah. more than seventy. Wow. Mm-hmm. Now I just because well you know what I I, I guess when I mean, you're so used to doing it it wasn't gonna take me long and mm-hmm. you know and just I already know what to do to it and we're gonna be through in a minute so okay I now that feel you like I just I just have never been the type of person to just charge you just to be charged yeah. right you know what I'm so saying? what would you charge for that now if I was to color it cut mm-hmm. it maybe a perm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's probably gonna be about. I probably would still do it probably about 80. That's a $200 job. At least a hundred. That's a two, yeah. At least But she, because she colored it. In I Dallas, know, yeah, the color, color along is 200. 200. I was, mm-hmm. that's the color. Yeah, that's crazy. The, that's why I asked you, do you think we're being robbed and we just don't realize it? Because we're just thinking it's, we, we just want them to do our hair. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I asked like that. Like I say, I'm not going to knock their prices. I yeah. can't knock their prices. Because yeah. I don't know what they're paying uh, for the products that mm-hmm. they use, I don't, I don't know. Well, see, that's another thing too. I've went into you gotta the buy the, salon. You gotta buy the color, uh-huh. and they're going up on our products. But mm-hmm. see, that's another thing. I've went to the salon, and they've used products that I could buy out of the. You know what I'm Beauty saying? Supply. Like I want some real products that I can't get from. Yeah. You know. That's true. I want some real that's products. What I'm saying. I can't. You know. They, I can't knock they hustle. Because I don't know what they're paying for their products. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then they, if they're in a shop, mm-hmm. they have to pay for the maintenance. They have yeah. to do everything in the shop. So, yeah. you know, so it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about products. Do you feel like 
Because right now, there's so many shampoos, so many, everything is the newest, the latest, the newest. Is it, to me, I, start, I started saying, Tisha, stop that. Whatever shampoo you was using that was working, stick with that. Because I'm going to always want to find a new. Do you think that the products now, is it any different from what you had before? Or is it something better? You the same products that I had before, it's like, uh, I started noticing they were either diluting the product or mm-hmm. doing something. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh because if you notice, if you use Pump It Up forever, mm-hmm. I know when I grab this bottle, this ain't the same bottle that it came in the last time. It's uh-huh. a smaller bottle, <clears throat> smaller content, yeah. higher price. Yep. Right. Basically. Yeah. And that's basically everything. Mm-hmm. And it's like the same Pump It Up that used to stand on her up mm-hmm. for two weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two, for real, two weeks. For real. Uh-huh. It's going to be crunchy. That's when you came yes, back every exactly. two weeks. And then that that I crunchy. just washed it out uh-huh. yesterday. <laughs> But that okay, same pump it up is not the same pump it up. Yeah, well, we used to get those that, uh, banana peel down and it's going to fly right back up. <laughs> yeah, banana, banana, banana peel. peel. <laughs> but what about when we used to get those freezes? The oh, freezes wow. wasn't yeah. nothing but gel and pump it pump up. It That's up. all and it was. It up. Uh-huh. And it's like now, now you barely, you have to sit up under the dry forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever to get it hard. Mm-hmm. That's true. And it's because they diluting it. Yeah. It's got to be. Yeah. That's so, true. And it's like, yeah. and then the all sheen, the, some of it's heavier than what mm-hmm. it used to be. It used to mm-hmm. be a light. All she was is only supposed mm-hmm. to give you a gloss. Yeah. It's not, not way your hair, hair down. down. Yeah. So mm-hmm. It's just they doing different stuff to the products. Okay. I've been noticing that mm-hmm. years ago. So. Yeah. So what conditioner shampoo did you live by then or that you live by now? Have you Has it changed or are you still rocking the sun? Well, back then I, I lived by uh, B&B. Johnson & Johnson mm-hmm. products, you know, that's why we had to work with mm-hmm. back then, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, Dudley came out Dudley, uh, professionally yes. uh, for his products. We used Dudley. We mm-hmm. were into Dudley back then. Mm-hmm. They used to have different people come down and sell us those mm-hmm. products. Used to walk into the shop that. and sell it. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. So, like what? I say, it was totally different uh-huh. back Totally back different. They used to do door to door. Yeah, They used to do door to door. And, you know, they did a whole lot back then that they don't do now. And it's like, yeah. you can't even get them to come down here and sell yeah. stuff no more. No, they like, we so. online, find us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we online, find right. us. Was that designer's say? touch? I remember designer's, designer's touch. touch. Was that by Dudley? That was, well, no, was it was that? uh more. It was more or less kind of like a sister. Okay, mm-hmm. of the brand. Okay, you know what I'm yeah, saying? that's a prime. Mm-hmm. Your mama lived by do, that. Yes, yeah, designer's <laughs> touch. Yep, <laughs> yes. that's when you said that. I was like, oh <laughs> my goodness, yeah, yeah, this is bringing yeah. back so many uh, memories. Yes. I just, yeah. I don't want to leave this. Mm-hmm. Okay, exactly. Now check her out. She said, check her out. <laughs> so now this this will be is this her hair is, she got some length up top right is that a ponytail or is it cut on no, the side it's, it's just some tracks at the top and it's just based the same basic mm-hmm. cut uh, just style different. Mm-hmm. I used to, I loved when they started that, uh, where you have your little sideburns kind of a yes, little longer. Long. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing I'm noticing that we was just so what we. The women were just so we were younger then in this era, but I didn't. I they just were sophisticated, yes, and classy, yes, very, yeah, yes. But see, yeah. if you weren't, you were gonna be once you got one of them. Yes, styles. okay, yeah. I made you sophisticated. We lost, we lost that, we lost that, yeah. we lost that feminine, That's, that softness, just that, that Felicia Rashad there type vibe. Oh, right. We lost right. that. You sure said a mouthful. You did. Mm. Yeah, because that's what we had to look up to. Like, we just had the picture of the day with Debbie Allen, Felicia Yeah, Rashad, they was ladies. Jasmine Absolutely. Guy. That's who we looked to. Like, those are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Now it's just like, what in the world? Right. So, uh, this is beautiful. And this is for the cost. Now, what would it cost to get tracks added? Say, because y'all used to charge about a track, right? Like, if I'm on two tracks. Some people did. Mm-hmm. Some people did. Like, if I just did maybe like about, that's probably like about four tracks in the front. Uh and it's colored tracks. Mm-hmm. So colored hair costs more, yeah. if you notice, when you buy your uh, mm-hmm. weave at the store. Black hair is cheap, mm-hmm. cheaper than colored hair. And if I'd have put like about four tracks in there and cut it and style it, I probably would have charged her maybe about the same, about 50. Mm-hmm. Deborah. So I'm so amazed. <laughs> okay. I am so amazed. It is years later. 
and y'all she is just running it up that's about four tracks yeah. colored hair like <laughs> the no lot. hair like it was I, yesterday I, like though I say, uh-huh. to me it's just it, it wasn't a lot to take it, it didn't take a lot out of me to yeah. do that i could tell uh-huh. and and it's like i didn't think to charge no whole lot people like are you serious i'm like yeah I'm and this, good. this yeah. is another thing that just came I'm to me. Good. I think the difference between now and then is that y'all actually loved hair. Mm-hmm. I think now we people are jumping on a trend mm-hmm. and they're doing they it for a on quick the money buck. Train. On the money train. train. Yeah, they they know so it's train. a money train. But you, y'all loved hair because I ain't going to forget now. I, rem- I don't forget nothing. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Okay. I remember I was in my little ponytail freeze era mm-hmm. and I came to you. To mm-hmm. get my hair cut, and you asked me where I had been. Okay. You said where I, because my hair was damaged up it was time. <laughs> And you said where I, I remember you saying where uh, I had been. And I remember even sitting with Miss Evelyn. She would, as she's doing my hair, she would say, This is what you need to do. Soft spoken, but she's telling you, like, wrap it up at night, do this. Like, mm-hmm. y'all, y'all cared about hair. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's gone. Yeah, we I did think, it. We you taught you how to take care of it. Yes. Mm-hmm. I did. Mm-hmm. I taught my clients how to take care of their hair. Yes. I taught them how to wrap it up. Yep. You know, yep. I showed you because you're gonna hair. have to wear this hair yeah. Yeah. all next week, yeah. and I don't want you looking no any kind of way walking around with my okay. Hair really. That's what I was yeah. gonna say. Yeah. I think exactly. aside from loving hair, like you say, the God in you, you guys, you loved building up that esteem mm-hmm. and that personality, mm-hmm. and you cared about your clients. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. Great point, I build your self esteem up every day. Excellent point. Mm-hmm. Every day, where some, where you came in and somebody didn't tell you down your whole life. Oh wow! I can tell. That's gonna make me cry. Yeah, so you dealing know. with people who had I'm abusive with husbands, people that uh, come in and for husbands, bring their kids, yes. get a haircut, yes. and come mm-hmm. over there and sit with the ladies and talk about, oh, that is so pretty. But I know I wouldn't look good with that. I don't know. Uh-huh. Everything that come out your mouth is like, nah. I, ain't. I said, babe, somebody must have told you you was ugly when you was growing up. Yeah. And she said it did. My mom used to call me ugly. All the time. I said, well, you know what? That's gonna stop today. Okay. Because today, baby, you are beautiful. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. I mean, you're gonna so. stop today. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, get your hair done. You're gonna start getting your hair done. Okay. Because she had stopped. She had stopped. Yeah. I di- and I didn't know that. Mm. I didn't know she had stopped teaching. Mm-hmm. She had stopped everything. Her marriage. She had. Transitioning into a Muslim. Wow. And ain't nothing wrong with being a yeah. Muslim. Right. But if that's not your, you, mm-hmm. then it's going to take a lot out of you. Take a toll on you. And took a toll on you. She lost herself. Yeah. She lost and sometimes herself. That's yeah. all it she takes. Is that confidence boosted her to make and when feel I boosted about that themselves. confidence yeah. up and told her that you were beautiful. Right. That's because you got a 13 year old daughter over there that's. Watching. And you're going to stop that. She's beautiful. And you're going to tell her. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And right. she started coming get her hair done, honey. Could you tell and the end difference? And end up getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was just going to say, could you so, tell the difference? Hey, that she says got a, divorce, a lot. Honey, yeah. Go on, honey. She like pork chops. <laughs> okay. Like she couldn't eat pork chops. She couldn't eat. Yeah, she, she had changed. Though. And she was trying to do that. And that was okay. Yeah. But it was taking it a lot her. out of you. Yeah. And so, so she had to we, find herself yeah, again. She you even wrote to, a book. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. I'm telling you, she got her life back on track, and it was like, wow. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want you to leave your husband. Right. So yeah. If that's what it took. Because yeah, he wasn't the one for you. her. So. Yeah, but, yeah, true. I build up self-esteem. I build up, do all of that. Mm-hmm. For real. Because you don't know our black sisters, you don't know how broken we are oh, when yeah. they come to the beauty shop. Yeah. A lot mm-hmm. of them are very, very broken. Broken-hearted people. Mm-hmm. And so you have to deal with that. Yeah. They sit in the chair and they got a bad attitude or, you know, and you have to talk to Try them. Try to tear them walls you know, down. Bone yeah. with them. Get to know them. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Just like I'm getting to know your hair. Mm-hmm. I don't know your hair the first time I meet you. Yeah. I'm getting to know your hair. You see what I'm saying? That's so, and it's okay. And we grow together. Mm-hmm. So I wish amazing. I could do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, Summer, Summer, you still good at that going to the beauty shop. Mm-hmm. I oh. wish I, I need to do it more. Because I feel like it's just like getting your feet and nails done. It's something about it. It's just that it's so expensive mm-hmm. up there. That's why I say back in the day we used to call it the spa, Black Women's Country Club. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When they come, they coming in, they getting pampered, and you releasing some stress. Yeah. And then Talking you to your friends. Hood, you done forgot your hat because you yep. got, baby. You done <laughs> got done up. Oh. <laughs> I got a whole thing. That's hat. so true. Hat. Yeah. That's, That's so true. Club. Well, yeah, okay. I told y'all the last time I got my hair, uh, shampoo, well, when I got it flat ironed, I mean, my hair, 
I don't have a perm, so it, it's it's kind of resistant to heat mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay. But just the experience of just getting that shampoo, uh -huh. it was yeah. so like it, it gave me a whole lot of life. Mm -hmm. I was like, I just go back just for that. I can my I can and walk then back just out the with my shampooing, hair curly. and it was just the shampooing and yes. you know you'd be like, oh that feels so it feels good. so you know, good. Just to let somebody do your hair, yes. is, it's a beautiful it thing. Is. You don't know how hard it is to even find that. Mm -hmm. Can't find that no more. No, they they either have a shampooist <coughs> or if they are shampooing. It's like that. It's not the same. Like I that's mean, getting it. You gotta work that. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I used to have y'all nails done, so y'all would scratch up in there, and it's like, oh, it just feels so good. <laughs> yes. And see, when I worked at Chandler's uh -huh. of Houston, uh, he used to have some girls come down here uh -huh. from Athens, okay. Texas. And they did nails, black girls. Uh -huh. They did nails, uh -huh. and I'm talking about designs and everything. Yeah, in that shop every other Saturday, they would come to Channels of Houston. Okay, and they did, they would have people on their book because uh -huh. the people that were getting their hair done, One you know, they needed. saw them and they'd be like, "Well, I want to get my yeah. nails done in two weeks when mm -hmm. you come." And and it, and it was a beautiful thing back then. You see the black sisters in there doing nails. doing all of that. Do you remember uh, the lady Jackie back in the day that used to do nails? I don't know if you remember her. Jackie, she was. Jackie. She originally, I think she used to work at like Margo's or something. <laughs> I know she did my mama nails a couple of times, but what was her last name? I don't know. She was she kind of heavy set. She used to wear like a scrunch, a freeze, a scrunch. No, and she worked on a mile, but she had started doing nails. Okay. A black lady was doing nails in Waco. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Well, years ago. Seriously, it's a lot of black women mm -hmm. that did nails in Waco. Yeah. But I mean, they just—I don't know. They just didn't get out there like they uh -huh. should have. But yeah, uh, but I think it's, the, and it's then, coming and then back those though. Nails, mm -hmm. yeah. I know somebody going to uh, doing nails right now in school right now. So mm -hmm. hopefully they can get out and. Do I something. wish that there yeah. was a salon with. Hair, black hairstylists, black nails ladies, black facial ladies, just all mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of working together. Mm -hmm. That way you can network. That'd be beautiful. Well, you never know what's 25 going to bring. I know. That's right. I, on this one, I said, Deborah, you sure must have a lot of doppelgangers because that's J Hood all day. Let me see. That okay. is Jennifer Hudson. All day, and I okay. yeah. See, I was seeing that little lip that I and I was gonna say candy at first, but when I see the whole look, face, the smile, yeah, the oh, around uh, the smile, yeah. Yes, I was okay. gonna say her from that but side, from that one. I could see then, candy, but that I smile was at Kelly Price on this side. Well, we all got so, okay. <laughs> oh my yeah, she yeah. I love she that green. <laughs> yeah, she. <laughs> you made her look like everybody. Uh, but I'm yeah, saying yes, though, that that, but that's how people look in Waco. That's just how they look. Then when you get that makeup on and get that camera right. They look like a star. Now, Shout I will like say, yeah. like I would always <laughs> say, people think Waco, like, that old small country. I never thought we were like, I thought Waco was a big, small city to me. Like, yeah. it, don't sleep on Waco. Mm -hmm. don't we was up on, on music. We was up on everything. When I went to Dallas, they couldn't have dealt. Yeah. They couldn't have dealt. They couldn't have dealt with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seriously. If they had yeah. came down here and did a show, they couldn't have yeah. could touched us. Oh, Stephanie yeah. was cranking out. We didn't out even them. know that. Mm. We didn't know that. Stephanie was cranking out them pink curl ponytails. Mm -hmm. That was yes, not really was. heard around. And like, then you said um, you kind of mentored Tony. Mm -hmm. Tony was killing the uh, the her game as far as at, at them her shows and all yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. was always Tony you know, started out home. at the hot spot uh -huh. in 1999. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. In yeah. 1999. Yeah. And she started, I think she had just finished beauty school. She was doing some hair at the house. Okay. I really don't know. That's what I had heard. But then yeah. she started working yeah. up there at the hot spot with yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and we had a lot of kitchen off. hairstylists yeah. that were cold too because yeah. Kiva used to. Oh, give yeah. her some yes. gel Baby. and give her a she comb. And Ruby, yeah. Ruby was a kitchen hairstylist for oh, a while. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Ruby. Ruby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thomas. What's Ruby's last name? Thomas. But no, she's Thomas. in Dallas she now. She Dallas she became a on. teacher okay. too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ruby was cold. Yeah. Clintel used to do hair outside of his house in the back room too for a while. And then he ended up at Chandler's. I'm thinking then he ended up somewhere else after that. Yeah, Clintel. So yes, when you started that, did you ever do it? In the kitchen, like no, you I, uh, like, well, you know what? When I started actually braiding, uh -huh. was like in high school. Okay, uh, I would do the volleyball girls. Oh, okay. You know, I was on volleyball team or whatever. And so at the practice before a game, 
we would come to my house and mm-hmm. we sit on the patio and I braid everybody hair. And that's when we put the foil on the ends and put the beads on there. <laughs> that's what I learned how to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And it was like I just went from there. I never did hair at home before mm-hmm. school or anything. Okay. But uh, it was just it just took a minute for me to answer the call. Okay, I, that's I what I was going to say. didn't answer the call so until you... 89. I got the call in 81. Okay. But I didn't answer to 89. Answer 89. Beautiful. I was okay. Just the last one to mm-hmm. Deborah. I was trying to. I was trying to be Resist a police. No, <laughs> you was made for this. You was built and for this. And kept saying beauty school. Yeah. And I kept saying, no, I want to be a police. <laughs> and you don't want re- And he knew best, didn't he? You don't no. regret it. Uh-huh. He kept saying beauty school. And I kept saying, okay. Yeah. Ooh. You know. <laughs> I just yeah. couldn't. I didn't never see myself doing, doing that. It. Yeah. I I I took up fashion merchandise and mm-hmm. I got a certificate, a social uh-huh. degree. Yeah. Because I thought I I like fashion. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah. And I thought that's what I wanted to do. Uh. Then I got out and I started working at Dillard's and I worked mm-hmm. at the mall, but that was boring to me. That was just yeah. like, just wasn't. You know mm-hmm. what I thought it was. You yeah. Know? And yeah. it was like, uh, you don't need a mall. To validate who you are, mm. okay. you got mm-hmm. a mall at home in your closet. Mm. I said beauty school, and I said okay, and I went to beauty school. Period. Mm. And I went to beauty school, yeah. and the first day I started class, I knew you were where you needed and, to be. And Deborah was born okay. I, again. I it was just the <laughs> atmosphere. The gift will make room for itself. Preach. Yes. You know? And when I got in that class, I said. I felt like I had hit the lottery mm. and didn't have a dime. But that's how my spirit was because I knew I was in the right atmosphere. I know that's this is right. It. And it's like I took off, got them, he gave me them wings. And, and I took you off. flew. Yeah. You did. She yeah. flew. And, yeah. and, and, and right to, today, uh, I'm thinking the whole time that this was my purpose. Mm-hmm. And this, this is not even my purpose. Mm-mm. So what do you feel like your purpose is? I I'm I'm in the process of adopting three kids. Oh, oh wow. Two nieces and nephew. And they're four, five, and six. Oh wow. And seven years ago I had a heart attack. I had mm. triple bypass surgery. Sorry to hear that. And so uh no, don't be sorry, girl. Look at me. Yeah, he fixed that thing. Yes. And so um, up until now, when I got custody of my nieces and nephew, mm-hmm. uh, before I got custody, mm-hmm. I was just thanking and praising him one day and uh, for the big, beautiful house and mm-hmm. everything. You know, I didn't mm-hmm. had everything. I didn't had it all. Yeah. And I was thanking and praising him for it, and I was letting him know that the house that you have me in, Lord, is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate it. But it's too big mm-hmm. for me. I mm-hmm. felt like I felt like I could downsize. I don't need all this. Yeah, get this to somebody with some kids. And, and two weeks later, I got a uh, CPS paper in the mail that uh, they had my nieces and nephew in custody in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh wow! Oh, wow. And they needed somebody to take them. Wow! And he said, "I know how to fill your house up." Okay, oh, you the one wow. with the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I said, okay. This is yours. So, yes. uh, and then after they got here, they've been here about a year. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like thanking and praising him. And I was like, Lord have mercy. I'm thinking that, you know, this is my purpose, uh, doing hair. And he was mm-hmm. like, no, this is your purpose. Mm-hmm. The kids are your mm-hmm. purpose. Wow. And I say, Lord, I thought doing her for 35 years mm-hmm. was my purpose. He said, no, that was a gift mm-hmm. I gave you. Mm. Get you through the journey. Oh wow! 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 And I said, okay. So that's what that is. Deborah, you need to write a book. That is awesome. You need to write a book because I know you leaving out a whole lot, (laughs) right? But (laughs) but I can just I just know it is. So yeah, yeah, it's like hey, it is what it is, Uh and it's like I've really, really been thinking about going back into the shop Mm because I haven't been in the shop Mm -hmm. in a while since Mm -hmm. the heart attack. I hadn't really, really been full service. I've cut at gray clips, Mm -hmm. just cut hair every day, just doing something, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. easier, right? Working smarter, not harder. Yeah. But um, I've been really, really thinking about going back into it. But I want to open up my own uh, shop, and 
I don't know. So, like I said, you don't know what 2025 going to bring. Right. Exactly. Right. Going to bring us. Absolutely. And, uh, he also put podcasts on my mind, oh, too, a couple uh-huh. of weeks ago. And um, and I wrote it down. I actually wrote it down, podcast. Wow. And I was uh, thinking about different subjects. He was just mm-hmm. giving me different subjects mm-hmm. to talk on the podcast. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I don't even know where all this was coming from. And then I got a call from, was it you? Tisha. Okay, uh-huh. it was you. I got yeah. a call from you. And I'm like, are you serious, podcast? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Lord, you done already put me, you know, you done already took me there. So it's right. Like, yeah. That's just a testimony of... Mm-hmm. You don't never know who's thinking of you. You don't. And right. who mm-hmm. remembers you. Who you impact. Who you impact. Exactly. Because I hadn't, she hadn't touched my hair since 20, uh, since 1997. Mm-hmm. That's the last time I think I got my hair because I remember okay. my daddy was still living because okay. he brought me to your shop and gave me the money. And I okay. remember his, I think he gave me like $50 or whatever. Okay. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't a lot because he wasn't going to pay a lot. <laughs> but you just don't never know. So you keep doing what you're doing. You be the best at it, and you have the right intentions and a good heart. Mm-hmm. And you be grateful and humble with that. God will see you through. Even if you get quiet for a while. Right. Absolutely. Because I, for me, this is a soft spot for me because that is a big part of my childhood. Mm-hmm. These ladies to me, mm-hmm. that's a big part of my childhood. Yes. And for me, I like, I love to honor and respect those before us. Mm-hmm. Even as me as a florist, I like to honor and respect those who taught me or those before me. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I think a lot of young girls can learn a lot from artists like mm-hmm. her. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Go sit up under them. Go pick yeah. their brain. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Bring them into the shop. Mm-hmm. Interview them. Like yeah. this is, if that's your craft and that's what you want to do, you should be talking yeah. to her because a lot of them and are it, not here anymore. Get get in school. Mm-hmm. Learn your craft. Right. Yeah. And then you can take it to the next mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. You, know. you have anything to add? You want to say anything? I agree with Tisha. Just, I mean, you can never, like, you can gain so much knowledge by talking. So if you're thinking about getting into doing hair, you know what I'm saying? Speak with somebody mm-hmm. who's been, been down that road. Exactly. Don't ever feel like you... You know what I'm saying? Oh, this they did this back then. This is this no, old. no, no, no. No, like she said, this is foundation. For, exactly, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. foundation. And Absolutely, it's, like, it's never gonna go anywhere. It's gonna always come back. It's gonna look. Yeah, it's gonna always come like, back. Right now, Just a lot like of back then when I started out, we were into the finger waves, mm-hmm. and that's when we they got coming the scrunches and, coming and the, uh, all of that. Yeah, Even and it's French coming rolls. back. It's I mean, coming back. French rolls. I did coming a scrunch back. the other day. Yeah. It's yeah, coming I'm back. Like it's coming back. Absolutely. It's, and a lot of hairstylists, the new ones can't do them. Mm-hmm. A lot, uh, some of them probably can, but a lot of them cannot do it. Like, uh, like the big ocean waves we used to get when the they used to be waves. real high. Yeah. They can't do all mm-hmm. that because they 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 haven't learned the basics of getting to that. Yeah. You know, to do a tidal wave, you got to learn how to tease. Yeah. You got to learn how to tease mm-hmm. that hair. And see, uh, uh, only people get teased hair is white yeah. people. Yeah. And, not that I'm prejudiced, mm-hmm. but that's just the way that they wear their hair. Yeah. You know, you tease Teasing it, it and then you comb it out. And so yeah. you're going to tease that tidal wave, then you're going to form it mm-hmm. with that tease. Let me tell you something, Deborah. Mm-hmm. You have to get you a YouTube channel, <laughs> get in the kitchen, set you a backdrop, get you some people, and and get on YouTube and sh- show that craft. Little little but pe- then people yeah. will eat yeah. that little up. Little <laughs> they okay. will eat that. It's this man you don't on know what 25 Insta- over. Let me tell you something. It's right. a man on Instagram right now. He got over a million followers. He's an old school hairstylist. Mm-hmm. He do it in his kitchen with a cigarette in his mouth and he mm-hmm. used the Marcells. Mm-hmm. But people flock to him because they get that nostalgia uh, that they're looking Baylor, for. Baylor, to, to, to Ron, what's his name? He gay. And I he got a so. girl. He be in he the be kitchen. In his kitchen. Yes, and he smoked cigarette. a cigarette. <laughs> he had an old school music going. He used them and them some, he do these type of hairstyles. But people want to be in the kitchen. Uh-huh. They be like, let me come in the kitchen yeah. because this is what they're looking for. I've seen him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm just saying, you you got that personality that mm-hmm. look. Just get on there and be like, hey, today we from just getting to do your hey your music going. <laughs> you with never them. know. But Deborah, know. are you still doing here today? Mm-hmm. So before we get out of here, you want to tell the people where they can find you. Well, you know what? I'm actually doing it. My I do my style. It's my people at home Okay. right now. That's why I was saying I've been kind of itching to get back into a shop. But right now, they can find me at home. I'm, okay. on, I'm on Facebook, Deborah Porter. You can message me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or you can email me, Deborah K. Porter at 07 at gmail.com. Thank you. And what you got, sister? We want to give you your flowers. Yes. 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 Flowers. You give people their yes. flowers. For you being our guest.
stylist and for your service. Because I think yes. being a hairstylist is a service. It and is. I know and you've done you an amazing, absolutely. amazing job. Too. And, yes. and all the way go. All, all the way go. Garland and yes. wherever else you've been to. My hair. <laughs> yeah. Don't ever think you've been forgotten. I'm sure been people forgotten. Can travel to come to see you mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Don't ever think you've been forgotten. I used to get people in Dallas... It was the girl that lived, they, they had moved from Iowa. I met everybody from mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were working for Caterpillar, uh -huh. but they were working in Dallas. And they were saying that uh, if they could fly me to Iowa, to their oh, home, wow. Uh, and get a lot of people to get their hair done. Yeah. And they knew a lot of people. And I was like, are you serious? Okay. They wanted to fly me down there like on Saturdays. Oh, wow. You know, you just don't never know yeah. who you're going to meet. I exactly. have met a lot of people. That is true. I That's have met more. a lot of people. Their bride true. come to you just to sit and talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously, yes. Yeah. But to our audience, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. Yes, Leave yes. comments below. This has been probably one of my favorite episodes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want to do this again. Yeah, I want to have you come on a do hair. Okay. Oh. I want to. I want to make this like up. a series. Uh -huh. I do it like a, a series of continue. bringing mm -hmm. other ones on there, and I would love for them to be on our live show if we get mm -hmm. some more, like yeah. the mm -hmm. Sharondas and the Chips yeah. and the, yeah. all them on there. Of course. Because this, I don't know why I'm just so passionate. About yeah, it, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. these are yours. We yeah. Love you. We, we got love a hard you. stop. We oh, got yes. our next. Yes. This is beautiful, y'all. Thank y'all so no, much. Thank you for coming. And we do have you a little gift card too. I'll go grab that before. Oh, thank you. Let me clap with you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Final we round of applause. We, we initially thought about having somebody else on the cast. We was like, you know what? Deborah, Deborah personality. Is enough. <laughs> She's enough. <laughs> yep, we said that. She's she going to carry it enough. Song, so she going to carry yeah. it all the way. Thank you guys so much. This is, this is amazing. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. My whole career, I've never been through anything like this here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But it's okay. I mean, I've been in the paper and all that. But yes. as far as just being on y'all's podcast, that is wonderful to me you never know who's thinking about you yes. never know yes. never in my life when i thought this little girl right, right here <laughs> i yeah. remember this little girl i'm telling I you i called erica i said erica that i said smile, someone reached out to her yeah. someone reached out to her on mm -hmm. facebook she yes, didn't respond i, tried to reach I said erica to ask gina you know can what? we have her I, number i, I said with these kids i don't messenger or if i check it it's gonna be late at night if I check it yes. <laughs> because I have viruses now uh -huh. on my phone because of the kids, the kids will not leave my yeah. phone alone. Yes. So if I get back to you, uh -huh. I will, but it <laughs> might not be that day. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for being on the show. Yeah. Bye. Bye, y'all. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.